As fans across America tune in to the NCAA basketball tournament and March Madness, WNBA stars Tamika Catchings and Ebony Hoffman are bringing their A-game to the basketball courts of Thailand. Over the course of the last week, Catchings and Hoffman have led clinics and conversations with more than 100 young female athletes. Well, we've worked with the girls with a, a variety of things, defense, offense, Tamika put in some plays. I worked on uh, some one-on-one -on -one drills and one-on-one -on -one moves. I mean, we've done a lot of things here. First day, we really focused on station. We did some ball handling. My station was actually doing three on three on oh, pass and cut, just trying to teach the girls about passing and always seeing the ball. We pretty much taught them the whole game all the way around, and they did extremely well with it. Yeah, yesterday, we had a shooting contest. I mean. My end was really energetic, really excited about this, so of course we won. No, I don't want to go there. Tamika's team won. Yes, I will admit that, but you know, our girls had fun. They had big smiles on their faces, so I can't complain. Teaming up with the State Department, Catchings and Hoffman are working to increase the number of women and girls who participate in sports worldwide. In America, we play a lot of sports. You probably drive down any street, you see girls kicking a soccer ball, throwing a basketball around. That's not so true in most of the rest of the world. Even very developed countries don't have quite the emphasis we do on girls' sports. According to the United Nations, girls who play sports are more likely to attend school, thereby increasing their earning power by 10 to 15 percent to just one year in the classroom. Going beyond the basketball court, Tamika Catchings took time out to visit a local orphanage. Not only did she share sports equipment with these young girls to encourage them to get on the basketball court, she also provided her support for them to pursue their potential. Having the opportunity to come here and, and be a part of this, I mean, you know, for a lot of these kids, they really don't have a lot of opportunities to kind of get out and experience camps and different things like that. So for us to be able to bring a clinic here and for these girls to be able to be a part of it, I mean, you could see the smiles on their faces. You could tell that they were having a good time. And, you know, I've talked about this all week long, just about basketball being a universal language. And I mean, at first they were kind of looking at us like, okay, who are these girls? Who are these ladies out here? But you know, as, as time wore on, you could tell that they warmed up to us and they had a really good time today. So no matter what the score may be on the court or in life, using sports as a way to empower women and girls around the world is a win-win for everyone. Okay. <laughs> Last 